art is subjective and artists have to choose between presenting what the market demands and what they themselves feel moved to create. Devika Pele is a painter who believes in being true to herself and it's something that she encourages in other budding artists, as Karishma discovered. Art doesn't need to be in a frame to brighten up the world, as this creative hotspot goes to show. the hip and happening 8 Morrison Street in Durban, about to go into Colour Palette, an art studio owned by renowned artist Devika Pillay. Devika grew up as the eldest of five daughters. Although her creative talents were already apparent at school, she could only dream of making a career of art. But she never gave up her vision. Devika received her first commission for a painting in 2000 and many of her subsequent works can now be seen in homes and public institutions across the country. Hi Devika! Hi Krishna, welcome to Palette. Thank you. Devika, your artwork is absolutely exquisite. What is your style of art? I don't actually have a particular style of art. Um, I've experimented with so many different styles. Um, from Renaissance art, Impressionistic art, Expressionistic art, abstract and now more modern contemporary. I also get bored very easily, so I can't stay with any particular style for too long. Um, so I'm always changing and reinventing myself. Did you study fine art? No, actually I'm self-taught. Um, I've, I've done art in school, like most students do. And I've moved on to nursing after that. How did you make the transition from a career in nursing to following your passion and having a career in art? Nursing is actually very stressful. It's very difficult to actually find uh, something to do in your pastime to unwind. And I found um, going back to my art, which I love so much, um, that was a way to unwind. You've had a very special experience with Tata Madiba. I've managed to convince some of my friends that when Tata Madiba comes to Durban, that they please contact me and I would love to meet him. Because I've always done paintings of him and I did have a painting which I was willing to give him on that day. He had this aura about him that you would literally start tearing before you could even think of saying anything to him. And I literally was in tears and asked him for a hug. And this painting is actually a, a replica of the one I gave him. Would you mind showing me and telling me some of the stories behind your other pieces? Sure, you're welcome. Come through. I'd love to show you the piece that I've won an award for. This is my interpretation of grassroots. It's an old Goko that after 20 years of democracy, she's still destitute. A silent vovazela means that her voice is not heard. As an artist, this is the only way I can actually express and address issues that we still have in our province. I've also done a portrait of my daughter and I would love to show it to you. There's it there on, on the wall. There's a lot of light, there's a lot of very loose brush strokes. It's actually a little different from my normal style. So I've actually done something special for you as well. Really? Yes. Please come through, I'll show it to you. I decided, well, I'm going to get a visit from you, so I decided to do something special. So I've done charcoal on canvas, and uh, it's a more modern contemporary style, but it's not finished yet. So, okay. So I'm going to start by adding some of this beautiful, luscious, butternutty colour. So here we go. It just transforms it. So this piece can sit beautifully in your bedroom, in your lounge, just about anywhere. Wow. Okay, you're going to add some colour to this. So just pour the paint here and we're going to manipulate the canvas so that it actually flows, the colour flows in. Now, all we need to do is manipulate it like this. We're just going to wipe off the excess paint. So there's certain parts where you'd want the features to show. I'm such a control freak, so this really pushes me out of my comfort zone because you can't really control where the paint is going. Are you a control freak? 
Yes, very much so. As you can see with this piece, the charcoal drawing underneath is very controlled. But I would like the piece to have a nice flow and a loose feeling to it. So hence the paint that we've thrown on and that will actually do the work now. So really finding a nice balance between the two. Absolutely. That leads me to my next question, Devika. Where do you draw inspiration from? Well, my inspiration initially was Nelson Mandela because he stands for all the things I would love to be able to address. And he's done it from a presidential podium and I'm doing it from the platform of an artist on canvas. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I do see myself um, an, a more established artist in the next five years and hopefully selling more art pieces and to actually live off this because this is my passion and I wouldn't want to be doing anything other than art. That sounds incredible. Wow. Well, I'm glad you had a say in it because your touch did finish the piece. <laughs> All that's left to do now is just put my signature to it. Devika, thank you so much for gently encouraging the Picasso in me to come out and for sharing your fascinating life story with me. It's been such a pleasure. Most welcome and thank you for coming and visiting me.